morning everybody how are we all doing today on this fine when is it tuesday tuesday i think we're on we're on tuesday or tuesday i hope we're all having a fine tuesday but i think by the time this goes uploads it won't be a tuesday but right now it's a tuesday um so as promised in my last stream we're going to be doing more side cases today um because we have quite the few and we need to do them all so we better we better get moving um so if we remember last time we there was um, a burglary wasn't there at mr frog morton's house and there was a lady and she stole a mirror and we've got to find the mirror um so apparently he's given us a key i don't remember him giving us a key but it has been like three million months so we're at frog morton's house and rip what's going on with his face oh well, that's a cake Yo, that's a cake. That's fucking sick. In both, you know, that he's literally eating his son, but in cake form. But also, like, where did they get the ingredients for that? Like, pretty much everything is fish. Do you reckon it's fish flavoured? Imagine a fish flavoured cake. <laughs> right, anyway, I need to find the study. Um, wherever that is. Um, I can't remember it being, is this the study? I've, okay, I think that this is, this is the study. Right. We'll go with it. Francis Frogmorton discovers. It's an ambitious expedition. Eh? Like father, like son. Hey, isn't that the, the main case of fathers and sons? Pretty. Oh, locate James. No, 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 we're not. We're not locating James Warren right now. Huh. Curious craftsmanship. This must be worth a fortune. We are discovering a mirror. That is what we're doing. What's this? Oh. 1891 must have been a busy year for Francis. Rosie. Exclusive interview. Francis Throgmorton's expedition to Africa has proven to be one of the most ambitious, if sadly unappreciated, undertakings of 1891. He has returned with numerous art uh, historical artifacts, invaluable anthropological research, a newborn son, christened Robert, and a plethora of fascinating cultural insights. Today is an exclusive interview with the Oakmont Chronicle. He has agreed to share some of those insights with us. Imagine going on holiday and then coming back with a child. My worst nightmare. Oh, I hear something. Where you at? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, a safe. Give me. Now that kid looks a little familiar. Does he? I'm glad he does to you. He, he doesn't to me. All right, twelve, twelve. Uh, 1894. Francis. Divorce is no simple matter these days. It never has been in my legal practice. You must clearly define the fault you shall present to the court, the most common options being cruelty, adultery, or an incurable mental illness. It is my impression that your firstborn's death at the tender age of seven dealt a blow to Bethany's health. I do severely hope she recovers, but the court won't share my concerns. Besides, Oakmont Asylum seems to be a well-known place. Regards, Chauncey. Right, okie dokes. So I'll take it we need to visit the asylum then, huh? Is that where... Oh, that's a bit creepy. That is a bit creepy. So I'll take it that's where we need to go next then, is the Oakmont Asylum. I'm looking sharp. I guess that's the point. <laughs> nice. I just want to make sure that there isn't anything else that we've missed in here. And then I believe we need to go to the asylum, right? Uh, left. Oh, wait, no. Do I need to take a picture of that? Can I take a picture of something? It's my scrapbook anyway. What about this? No? Okay. 
Uh, yeah, so I think we need to go to the asylum and see if Bethany is there. Right? I think. I don't know. Rest. Right. Let's go. Should we ask? Do you have anything to say on the matter? Oh, you do have things to say on the matter. Tell me about Bethany. I have some questions about Bethany. I beg your pardon. I don't believe I know anyone of that name. Weren't you married to her? Well, it came up during the investigation. See, her father divorced, and his ex-wife's name is Bethany. Mum. Say no more. It is beyond my earliest memories. But, even if it was, my father's business is his own. I shall not engage in gossip. Your father led an expedition back in 1891. Do you know anything about it? I'm not the best person to ask, I'm afraid. I was a babe in arms back then, and my father, who never made his findings public, it is a great shame, of course. His work would have turned the science of evolution on its head. Yeah, I can see that. Have a good day. Right, nice. All evidence collected. You enjoy the cake of your son. That's not weird at all. Um, and I believe we should go to the asylum. Let's go there anyway and find out. Can't park there, mate. If I'm correct, this should be the asylum. It looks very asylum -y, doesn't it? It's like when I'm playing out last again. Remember Outlast? Because Outlast was my first like major horror playthrough. And it legit took me months to finish it. Because I just refused to play it. And that was during lockdown. <laughs> and I was laying in bed one night and I'm like, right. I'm tired of playing this game now. Like, I'm tired of being scared of it. So, I spent the entire night hyping myself up. And I spent all day on Outlast. Right? And I think, I legit think it took me the entire day to finish about half the game. Just because I had to keep on pausing and taking breaks. So, I was just terrified. Hello? I'm looking for Bethany Throgmorton. You got any patients by that name? We'd know if we had a Throgmorton. Although, we do have a Bethany. Or rather, we did. Shit, she's missing. And not on one of her usual walks. How'd you lose one of your patients? What do you mean? Yeah, she broke out. Yes, knocked an orderly out cold. Oh. She was out the door in a moment. It took us all by surprise. She's usually harmless. She was just biding her time. Your usual walks. You let patients leave the building. Oh, Bethany was harmless, and she always came back. Clearly not. This time, well, I've never known her to be like that. Any idea where she went? No. She, she had been odd recently, though. Uh, muttering to herself, and she drew this strange picture on her bedroom wall. That's interesting. Can I take a look at her room? I suppose it couldn't hurt. She had a separate room downstairs. Here's the key, but do watch out for broken glass. Bye. T-Y, T-Y. Right, hello, sir. You handsome devil. Uh, am I on the wrong floor? Records room. I think I'm on the incorrect floor. You're all right, sir. Hey, still hear those voices. Oh, I forgot I'm 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 in a asylum. Um. Right, where? Watch your pocket. Some patients here have wandering fingers. You look like you shouldn't be smoking, and you also need to open that window. Standing by a closed window does nothing. No, we'd, we definitely need to go up. I say as I go down. Oh, found it. <laughs> I 
seven years each, that's a lot of bad luck. I'm glad it's not mine. Aye, aye indeed, it is a lot of bad luck. What's this? That's the other side of the photo. Is this taken at gunpoint? Come on. Oh, there we go. I will find it, baby boy. I promise. Just tell me more. Tell me more, tell me more. Did he have a big dick? Do 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 do. Oh, that was very sprightly of me, wasn't it? Bethany's no. All I do, I do for my dear Hammond. Who's Hammond? I cannot forget that. Shame on me for thinking that reprobate squint had more common sense than greed in him. He got the mirror, and I do not care how he did it, but when the time came for the exchange, he wanted more. So much more that he had the gall to threaten me. Say he'd find a new buyer. What's done is done. No one has the right to come between a mother and a child. Huh? Young Hammond Throgmorton, Francis Throgmorton's firstborn, has been pronounced dead. Mortally injured in a mysterious accident during a family holiday, little Hammond could not be revived, despite his doctor's best efforts. The funeral will be held a, will be held later this week, with only family and close friends attending. In this dark and tragic hour, we are trying to remain grateful for all we have, including baby Robert. As my sole remaining heir, I will do all I can to protect him. So that's the brother. Or Robert's brother. Right, okay. Someone had a field day to say some news. Indeed they did. Okay, anything else? Right, what have we got? What do we have? Can I, like, put them together? So they were a family, so they had two, they had two kittywinks and one of them died. And presumably the mirror will help her communicate with the dead or some shit, and I don't know. I don't know. What's this? My blood's almost dry. Hypodermic tablets. I wonder what they're used for. There's enough dope left in here to knock out a horse. Oh. Knocking out horses. What? Hello. You should have stopped right there. Right, so that's Bethany. Who knows who that is? You no longer have any power over me. I have found my Hammond. He's shown me the way. Oh, that's the is that the um the orderly? Commander Foster. In Salvation Harbor. Oh, I can't believe it. The answers have been there since last century. Time to this one together. Alright, so we need to go to Randall Glassworks, I'll take you it. No longer have any Stop right there. Bethany escaped the asylum after getting the mirror from Glover. The next stop here looks to be a factory called Randall Glassworks. I am a fucking genius. Key evidence collected, let's go. Right, I just want to do a quick search just to make sure that we haven't uh lost anything or not collected anything which we know that we have done um oh i've got an indecent poster let's go what's this best to work out the asylum and next up i want to where's the i want to see the indecent poster oh damn it guys we missed the indecent poster uh bethany and mirrors bethany had a thing for mirrors do you know anything about that oh yes poor soul she was convinced there was a boy called Hammond living in her mirrors. 
She talked to him every day. There we go. Bye. Um, bye. Look at that. All evidence collected. Right, we need to go to the Randall Glassworks in Salvation Harbor. Does anybody know where Randall Glassworks is? Right, so I went to the places and nothing, nothing showed up. So I went round all the other uh, thingies because there's a little book next to it which I didn't, didn't realise. So I went to the library, nothing. Um, so I'm now at City Hall. I think this is City Hall. It's got a thing on it anyway, so I'm hoping that this is where we need to be. Oh, stop bothering me, newcomer. Oh yeah, I forgot that you were a ray of sunshine. Um... Since the last century, so that'll be the period, wouldn't it? Um, so the 19th century, maybe? Um, Salvation Harbour. Enterprises? Mm, a Randall Glassworks. Um, Salvation Harbour, Skipper Road between Eel Street and Carmshaw Street. I love that for me. We are so smart. Place on map. Um, do, 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 do. Where are we? Where are we? Down here. Uh, Skipper Road. Skipper Road. Found it. Calmshaw Street. Calmshaw Street. Calmshaw Street. Here. Northern Skipper Road. Between Eel Street. Ah, so there. Somewhere around there. Where's the quickest fast travel point? Over there. Right, I will meet you guys over there now that I have finally figured out where the fuck we're going. Lord have mercy on my soul, sir. Oh, we found it. I'm guessing this is it. It looks like a steelworks. There is definitely going to be monsters in here. Fucking knew it. There's a lot of them. Oh, I forgot that they, um... Oops. That they spit things at me. Ow. I was about to say it fingered me, and then I realised. Oh, oh. I'm dodging and weaving. I'm dodging and weaving. Please die. Please die. What oh, did the move? Did you see that? It spun at me. They had the moves. Anyway, uh, let me just quickly. Make some more of them. I keep forgetting I have a shotgun, but I don't feel like I need to use it. Do you know what I mean? Can I carry any more of this? Yes, I can. Looks like this workbench was used for making frames. What do you mean I can't carry any more? Gimme. Right, what else have we got? Anything over here? There's a lot of mirrors being made here, isn't there? Careful, we might cut ourselves on the glass. Let's go downstairs. What's this? Some sort of treatment solution. Must be what they use to turn glass panes into mirrors. Hmm. To be fair, I've always wondered how mirrors were actually made. It is quite a weird concept, isn't it? When you really think about it. I don't appreciate that electricity. Thank you. Come out where I can see him. I didn't mean that literally. And that's the exact opposite of what I said. Because I can't see you, sir. Thank you. You little invisible fuck. Anyway. Now that we're done being invisible and stuff. Was there anything down here that was of use? There's a door right there. The door won't budge. 
budge. What do you mean the door won't budge? Can I go through this way? Can I go through the wall? Fine, fuck you then. I want to get in there though. What about this? Can I do anything with that? No. Okay then, we'll go upstairs. See if there's anything up there I can use. Oh, th this would be like the perfect place for like a hole to be there, and I could just drop drop down. That'd be so much better. But no, guess not, game. A human face. Hold up, I'll unlock the door. Hello. Oh, come on then. Are we up? Oh, multiple people. Hello. I just hear the reason that beast in the basement went quiet. I don't know how to thank you, Mister. Well, for a start, have you seen an old lady with a mirror around here? <laughs> old Bethany? Of course. She got lost in our storage downstairs when the beast attacked. I got a spare key. Please let her out. And feel free to take any supplies you want. You saved our lives. I mean, I'm already All doing that. Day's but work. cool. Thanks for the permission. I love when I do things first that I'm supposed to. You're right, sir. Oh, this used to be an okay place to live. Did it? What happened? Monsters. Understandable. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna walk all over you sleeping arrangements with my dirty feet. Oh, nice work. It looks like the craftsman's gone out of business, though. Too bad. Tis a shame. Tisn't it? Uh, do all merely makers look this shifty? I mean, to be fair, he is holding a skull. Who knew that so much pride went into mirrors? <laughs> the planar mirror. They hide. They hide underwater. In the pools. In the puddles. Can't be too careful. No, you cannot. So I think if we'd, if we'd have come up here first, they would have been like, oh, there's a monster in the basement. Will you go and sort it out for us? But because we were like on it, like a car bonnet, we already killed it. Don't worry, but Be Bethany. Oh, fuck this. Where is Bethany? Is she on the ceiling? Is this some, like, exorcist shit? Randall's diary. Never thought the city would surprise me, but Francis Hogmorton did just that. Clearing the way for his preferred heir by getting rid of the other. Wait, so Francis killed his own son? The man honestly believes he did his son a favour by stuffing him in the mirrorways. The mirrorways? Didn't want to kill him, as if that's any worse than what he did. Me, I'm just happy to share what I know. Should Francis want to bring his son back, hopefully you can find the kid a new body to live in. I'm done with this wretched city. Time to move somewhere warmer. So, Francis Thogmorton stuffed his child into the mirror? Like, I thought Bethany seeing and talking to a child was just her being, like, crazy. But what if she actually was speaking to him because he's trapped inside the mirror? And what are the mirror ways? I take it that's like an alternate universe. Here we go. Oh, there. There. Got it. His house. Randall's house. Hold on, Hammond. We're almost there. Randall's house. Take it, we need to find Randall's house now. Someone's been stocking up. Indeed, they have. Anything else in here? Oh. Yes. This is how she escaped. Don't trust. Oh, it's a bookcase. That's a thick book. Thick enough to be someone's life's work. Nope. Can we. Oh, I wanted to turn that around. Because that had, that had Cthulhu Daddy on it. Um, so I think we need to speak to somebody about these. Oh wait, what did what, what did that say? Right, mirrorways. These mirrorways are cold, alien and hostile environments that wrap and defy the world, a warp and defy the world they reflect. Souls and minds pass through them disembodied and should one be trapped there, they make for agonising, inescapable prisons. 
To extract the trap soul, a practitioner will need a valid respiratory for it, but be aware, once the soul has been extracted, its prison seldom survives. Imagine being a parent, though, and just trapping your own child inside of another world because you preferred the other. Like, what? I mean, like, I don't want kids and shit, but even I know that's a, you know, that's a, that's a little bit mean. Just a teeny tiny bit. Alright, can I talk to any of these? Alright, maybe we need to go back to Mr. Frogmore and, and give him them and see what he says, so. Looks like this workbench was no, I want to pick up them, thank you. Uh, so yeah, so let me go back to Frogmore and Lana. And we'll talk to him and see if that's where we need to need to go. But have we collected? No, we haven't collected all the evidence. So let me quickly find this last evidence, and then we'll figure out where we need to go and who we need to speak to. All right, let's go. Oh, oh, search warrant. Warrant to enter and search the premises of Randall Glassworks. To investigate recurring complaints, suspicious activity at night, and to interrogate the suspect, go on to Randall. Nice. Nice. How did I miss that? I, I don't know. I don't know how we missed that, guys. Right, let's go figure out who we need to speak to then. Let's see if he's got anything to say about this. How are we progressing on the cake, fellas? Can't believe you. I can't believe you. You're eating your own son of cake. Have somebody... Oh, somebody's cut his face up. Like, I'm sorry, right? But if if one of my family members died, the last thing I would want is a cake in the shape of them. I can't I can't rightly get over this. Anyway, what's the story in Balamori? Disturbing book, Mr. Throckmorton, on mirrors. It spoke of imprisoned souls. I mother. think that's the son. What is oh no, it's his coat. My bad. I suppose there's no point in being coy. I forgot how green screens I work. I learned that I wanted a brother, Hammond. My father robbed me of him. Hammond is inside the mirror, trapped by sorcery. My father's doing. Why, I cannot guess. But he is a Throgmorton. He must be saved. Why won't you open and honest about this with us? You want us to be honest and open with you, and you're not with me. I don't like that, sir. Have a good day. Have a terrible day. I'm not in the mood for chit chat, Mr. Reed. Mr. Reed. All right. Well, now what? Um. I tell you, we need to speak to somebody about mir mirror waves, but I don't have a fucking clue who, who that is. Um, right, search warren, police station. Let's go to the police station um, and see if we can find anything in the police archives. Because that's where search warrants usually reside, isn't it, with, with the popo? Let's go, let's go and take a gander. Let's go and take a gander, guys. I'm always scarce. Fleeing is the better option. Never. You see me now? I'm packed. Like, honest to God, pat, pat. I dare anyone to try and get me, mate. Hello. Don't waste my time, newcomer. Oh, I forgot that you're also a ray of sunshine. Uh, here. Private correspondence, fantasy study, search warrant. Uh, property crimes? Suspects. Salvation Harbor? No. I thought I had that. Uh, complete. Yes, there we go. Um, right. Go on to Randall. Alias David uh, Davis Miles fled the city. Last known location Oakmont, Mass, Northern Old Grove, the corner of Windolf Avenue. Suspected of disrupting public order, 
subversive behaviour and counterfeit, counterfeiting, counterfeiting, counterfeit. Wind Half Avenue, right, okay. Cool beans, let's add that to the the thingy, where is it? Northern Old Grove. Wind Half, found it, found it, Gold Bridge, Gold Bridge, there we go. So somewhere around there. All right, let's, uh, let's travel over there and see what Randall has to say for himself. If he's alive, of course. There's a high possibility he might not even be alive at this point. Everyone seems to be dead. I'm genuinely surprised, though, with the, amount, with the amount of people turning up dead that we haven't been... Understandable. That we haven't been accused of it yet. Do you know what I mean? Excuse me, lady. Right, where are we here? Oh, they're both the same distance, but we'll go to we'll go we'll go to this one. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Like I love how on the map, like even though it's underwater, you can still see the different divides of the sea. Like obviously this is where like all the rich people live and shit. I do like I do like the uh, the different areas. All oh, these two are still fighting over <laughs> over the onion. Go on, sod. Yeah. Dude. Am I going the right right way? No, I'm not. Am I? Yes. Wait, is this where there was a house on this side, wasn't there, that I tried to get into, and then the one I needed was on the opposite side? Is it this one? I feel like it may be this one. It is this one. Now, now, now I can get in. Now I can get in, but I don't want to because there's monsters in there. Hey, 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 hey! Come on then. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. All oh, the the coming. The coming. The coming. The coming. Oh, Christ. Christ. Why are they not dying? I need more firepower. Maybe they're not dying because I'm not hitting them. Maybe that's why. Got it. Oh, missed. Shit. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Calm down. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh. That was stressful. I'm glad we didn't panic. Alright, guys. Calm down. All good. Oh good, I got this. I got this. Got this. I, th I don't got this. I don't got this at all. Hello? Oh. <gasps> Secrets. Oh, what's this? Where does one find a miniature coffin like this? That is very true. What would one even use a miniature coffin like that for? behind me i keep expecting you know one of one of these days i'll open a door in this mind's eye or something and there's gonna be something there there's gonna be something there and it's gonna get me i don't i don't want to go into the basement lady i don't want to there better be nothing down there i haven't checked can we don't mind me I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, calm down. Oh, I can't see shit, what's going on? This way. Oh, there better, there better be nothing down here. Please be nothing down here. I have a shotgun. And I'm not afraid to use it.
I am not doing so well, am I? Mentally. I'm not, I'm not okay. We're fine. We're fine. I don't think we're okay. Oh, it's like a shrine to the sun or something. What has made a better father proud? Cute. I'll take it. This is where they've gone into the mirror my world. No, my head. Uh, damn it. I can't. I can't. Oh? What's happening? What's going on? What's happening? What are we? What's? What's doing? What's doing? What's doing? Hello? Are we calming down? Please calm down. What? I don't. I don't. I don't know what just happened. I'm very confused. Hey! Hey, let me out! I'm extremely confused. Why is that slug there? I have so many questions. What's this? No! No! That mirror is making me sneeze. Right, okay, so what was all of that hoopla about? I don't. I don't understand. We're definitely missing stuff, 100%. But I don't. I don't know what's going on. I, I don't. I don't understand. And all this confusion is making me sneeze. Which is quite understandable if you ask me. I think I'm definitely missing stuff missing some stuff up here, so let's have a let's have a gander. Right, eligible bachelor. Francis Hogmore and the city's darling scholar and adventurer is once again a most eligible bachelor. The divorce court hearing took place this Tuesday. No press were allowed in the courtroom, but the results were made public immediately after the ruling. Bethany Hogmore and the deteriorating mental health was deemed a sufficient reason to terminate the couple's marriage. There has been enough mourning, said Francis, while exiting the courtroom. Our son, Hammond's death, was a tragedy, but we must stay strong. It's a pity Bethany could not. Wow. He's a bit of a dick, isn't he? Do you reckon maybe he's done it on purpose? Like, obviously, he got rid of a son to let the other kind of take over but do you reckon he also wanted to get rid of Bethany and was like this is going to be the best way to do it Louise has been here a while that they have right I don't know what the fuck he's going on can I go upstairs is there an upstairs there is I'm hoping that we're going to find Bethany at some point I'm also kind of worried that she's gone through to the mirror dimension too. No, but she's, she's trying to bring the, bring us on back though, isn't she? I'm stepping on all these bugs, my bad. But she'll need a body to bring him back to. Men into these old vintage mirrors collected over many decades. At the biggest mirror exhibition in the history of Oakmont, including Master Randall's finest creations. Why is that being knocked over? Bizarre. Hmm. Oops. A cult tome. A simple warning spell can be created through the application of uh, sympathetic magic. To establish an accord that affects an entity, one must find a similar entity that has a powerful bond with the other. What? Oh, oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? 
It is the rift, my dear Watson. There. As long as this mirror stays whole, you will be safe, baby boy. Safe while I find a way to free you. Okay. The other one's downstairs. Is the one upstairs? There is. Let's go upstairs first. He's right. They might find me kind. So I'm thinking she's done a studying first. She's then put him into the mirror, or this mirror down here. And let's go and see what this bottom one is. How many fucking floors does this bloody house have? I mean, I know how many floors it has because I've been down there, but my point still stands. I will get you out, Tammy. There has to be a way. Time to piece this one together. Right, I'm hoping that I can do this right first time. I will get you out, Tammy. There has to be a way. Okay, that one first. She's then done a research. Hmm, actually. I'm thinking we're going to go upstairs first and then that one. If not, I'm going to be up and down these bloody stairs. He's right. They might find me kind. I'm hoping. Please? If not, I'm going to be getting my steps in. There. As long as this mirror stays whole, you will be safe. If I got it wrong, it'll be them too. Safe while I find a way to free you. Oh no, I did it. Set up nice. some sort of barrier to buy time while she tries to free Hammond. I could remove it by destroying the ritual mirror. Oh, do we really want to do that though? Oops. Right, do you reckon if we shoot it that all I did it. Um Goodbye mirror, I guess. Now now what? Do we go back down? I'm very confused. I'm extremely confused. Oh no, no. You can't have him. I won't let you. Where the fuck did she come from, my ass? You hear me? Bethany. Where did, you, where did she come from? No harm. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton eye, Bethany. Not again. I won't let you. Bethany, calm down. I just want to talk. It's okay. We can talk about this. I know the mirror is important to you. It's my son. My my son. His soul, his very being trapped in the mirror. Cold, hungry, scared for Tekken. It's uh, Kay, it's so hard to understand. His body is dead, but his soul is frozen in glass, unable to move on or return without help. Ugh. Francis thought this was merciful. Oh, the rat. What's your plan? What do you mean to do, Beth? I can pull Hammond back into his own body. Don't judge me. This this may seem unnatural, but, but, but we will be together. Everything is ready. I'm sure it will work. I only need to break the mirror to release him. I can't go back empty-handed. And I won't leave without my son. Um, uh, right. What did... <sighs> I want to free him. Right, but then, if we free him, will he be the same as he was? So 
so if we take it back so if we take the mirror does that mean that he won't be saved and if we leave it with her then he will is that is that the option we have because if so if she can free him then i'll let her keep it that's fine with me you know what we say none of our business but i don't want to take it back to frog morton and him be like i can't get him out do you know what i mean if this is gonna work lady keep it but i need to fully understand what my choices are here do you know what i mean Right, so I went to the bathroom and I have pondered on my choices, right? So the way I see it, if we take the mirror, the sun stays in the mirror world forever, right? But if we say you can keep it, she's then going to do the ritual to bring your soul back out of the mirror and into his body, which I presume is in the coffin. Um, I was kind of hoping that she would have found a different body. Because that body is dead. You know, like, surely at this point it would just be a skeleton. So the soul would then be going into bones. But would that be the best course of action? Because that's that's what it's going to be, isn't it? He's going to be going back into a body that's been in a coffin for God knows how many years. Which is just going to be bone. Why do we have to be put in these moral dilemmas? Because I highly doubt putting the soul back into the body is going to rejuvenate it in any way. But then he's also stuck in the mirror world. But then he'll be stuck in a body full of bones. So basically, neither option is good. Right, I'm going to... It's none of my business we were hired I don't, I don't know what to do I don't know what to do because neither neither option is good do you know what I mean neither one is ideal because on the on, on the one hand right we, we were hired to find the mirror we need to take the mirror back to him. But then on the other hand, I don't want to keep a soul trapped in the mirror. But then would I rather him be trapped in a mirror world or trapped in a skeleton? What would I rather be trapped in? A mirror world, actually. I think I'd rather be trapped in... I don't... Game! We were no right. Let's keep this. Oh, I want to say let's keep this simple. We were hired to find the mirror, so we're taking the mirror. I don't. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm taking the mirror. It's crazy, Bethany. Even if it were, it wouldn't be right. I'm taking the mirror to Robert. No, you can't. I won't let you. What? What? What are you gonna do? Oh. Shit. She's gonna shoot me! Not before I sh Bethany. Bethany, please, I don't want to see that. <laughs> Bethany, please stop. Right, I'm taking this now. Thank you. Um, oh, she's showing me a old woman vagina. I don't I don't want to. I don't I don't care for it. I think I've just turned gay. <laughs> Anything in there? No. Right, let's take this stupid mirror back. To I wonder. Mm, oh, mm. I'm very, I'm very conflicted. I'm extremely conflicted. Not gonna lie. I wanted to save him, but then thinking on it, bringing him back into a skeletal body just wouldn't be okay do you know what i mean 
Because we, we would have brought him back into Bones. Like, if she'd have got, like, a fresh body, you know, like, if she'd have gone to the graveyard and dug a fresh one up, then maybe. But. I don't think that would have been a good outcome for anybody involved. To be quite honest with you. Oh, don't want to make you drop your package. My bad. How are we doing with this cake? Oh, it's still, still going. Still going. Cool. I tracked down the mirror. Huh. Got a chase. Excellent. Hand it over, please. You have rendered my family and its noble bloodline a great service, Mr. Reed. Here, your reward. Earned in full, I might add. So, now you have the mirror. What's your plan? To find Hammond a body fit for a true-born Throgmorton. Pongo or Belly seems an appropriate choice. Nice. Found the ring and we upheld our agreement with Robert. So is he, I presume he's now going to find a better body than the bag of bones that crazy lady was going to put him into. Hopefully that's the case. Hopefully we can find a way to bring him back through. Did you know though, your your mother, she, she flashed me her dusty old vagina and I can't, just so you're aware. Uh, right. It looks like that is that done what an adventure that was um we found out that mirror ways exist um we still didn't find out who we needed to talk to did we oh well we did it anyway um so yeah so that's that's now a thing that happens people can get trapped into mirrors which is good to know i guess um for any enemies we come across just shove them into the mirror um but anyway yeah that's going to be it for this part um, I might do a few of the other ones. We'll see. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will catch you all in the next one. Bye.